Okay, first of all, I need to make one thing clear about the title. It is not a clickbait one, but the truth about Greece and death row is a bit more complicated, so bear with me. The thing is that Greek animal welfare is no kill. The way things usually work here is you rescue a stray, you treat it and you place it in a foster home or a shelter until a forever home comes along. Until meaning keeping it safe, healthy, well-fed and taken care of for months, years or even for its entire life. So where is the problem and what does death row have to do with it? Well, the thing is that Greece is a country of 11 million people and about 5 million strays, who knows. The numbers keep changing and since there is no such thing as a public pound where you can walk in, surrender your dog and walk away, most dogs are simply left on the streets to survive on their own. And that's where the volunteers collect them from and then take them to a shelter or a foster care. And shelters are built and operated by volunteers and rescuers who have devoted their entire lives to saving animals. So they don't really put dogs to sleep because they simply can't put to sleep the dogs that they have rescued, treated, fed and loved. When the number of dogs in a shelter reaches a peak, the volunteers do their best to expand. They look for money, they spend more and more of their free time there, until one day some of them simply don't have life, or this becomes their life. So eventually all of us have more rescues than we can handle, simply because the cases are too many and there are incidents to which you can't say no to, no matter how impossible it seems to take one more dog or cat in. For every dog we choose to rescue, we know that we have to leave a dozen more behind on the streets, and the ones left behind are literally on death row. We know that, we cry about it at nights and there is nothing we can really do. Apart from risking being run over by a car, abused or struck by a deadly disease, all strays risk being put to death every single day, but what has been the most common way of population control here for decades? Poison. Each neighborhood, village or town has its executioner, the person that constantly keeps a steady population of strays in the area by leaving poisoned food out for them to consume and die of. The most common ways of poisoning is rat poison or broken glasses carefully placed inside a juicy burger. Poisoning is so common here that some of us walking our dogs twice or three times a day risk losing them at any moment. It is so common to walk around and have another dog owner come to you and say, careful, there's poison around here, that our usual reply is something like, what, again? Greek posts about strays here come with a description, in urgent need of a foster home, he, she risks being poisoned. The best thing you can do is either offer to foster the dog or simply never look for an update on it again, because what you'll get a few days later is something like, R.I.P. Nobody has come forward to adopt him. He was found dead this morning. This is overwhelming, frustrating and extremely unfair. And the weirdest thing of all is that by choosing to be no-kill makes our Greek rescues not that much in need, since they can stay in the shelters forever and will never be put down. By having a compassionate animal welfare, we sabotage ourselves because Anyone willing to adopt will go for a dog that was given 24 hours to live in a shelter somewhere else other than Greece. But most dogs here are on death row too. You just haven't realized it. By adopting a Greek rescue, you also save another dog that would have died a horrible death had that kennel in the shelter not been emptied. So please, if you are one of those people willing to offer any kind of help to animals who need it the most, don't forget Greece. We mourn hundreds of dogs and cats every day, put to death because there is simply no room for them on the streets. It's just that the shelters never make those decisions. Random executioners do, hiding carefully in every single neighborhood, behind a kind old woman's face, who leaves poisoned food on the streets, before she goes to church on a Sunday morning.